Loki finally gets the cosmic cube that he always wants but the next second he is dumbfounded. In the draw, there aren't only space gems but also many kinds of infinity stones that are thrown here like garbage. The guy next to him says it's common for them to have a lot of these broken things. Loki frowns, are these broken stones the tragic ending of the deal with Thanos after betraying his brother before? Loki is confused, what on earth did happen? Not long ago, Loki is subdued in the first battle of the Avengers. The cosmic cube is also taken away. When coming to the first floor, Loki sees the suitcase with the cube inside. No one knows why it is suddenly kicked away. It happens that Hulk walks down the stairs and hits the suitcase. Seeing the cube, Loki rolls it to his feet. Loki who is supposed to be taken back to Asgard uses the cube to escape immediately. Then over a desert, a portal opens and Loki falls with a confused look. At this moment, a few Mongolians come over. When Loki is about to introduce himself, three soldiers teleport to in front of the cosmic cube. Loki immediately steps forward. At this time, another soldier walks out of the portal. She holds an instrument and says Loki is a time criminal. Loki can't understand what she is talking about. She doesn't explain, directly says they will represent the Time Variance Authority to arrest Loki for violating the sacred timeline. Loki looks like he has just heard the biggest joke, someone is going to arrest a god like him. But in the next second, the soldier punches him. Loki's lips are at 1 16th the speed, keep shaking up. Then the soldier makes him wear a strange neckband. Loki is taken away immediately, the cosmic cube is also taken away by soldiers. The soldiers also reset the timeline with a mysterious device. Through the portal, Loki is taken to the Time Variance Authority. Loki sees something wrong, he finds the right time to escape. The soldier takes out a time reversal device that is similar to the remote control and Loki returns to the original place. He runs again but it's still like that. As long as the neckband is not removed, Loki can't get out of trouble. Then the soldier locks Loki into a small black room. Turning around, a yellow robot appears in front of him. The robot smiles at him then extends its little claws to Loki's clothes. Absolutely not. Loki is also changed into a prison uniform by the robot then he is sent to another room reluctantly. Uncle with glasses tells him to sign. He says the words on these papers are all the words that Loki has said in his life. Loki says, sign your big head. Uncle prints another paper. You also have to sign the sentence you just said. Loki is speechless, can only grit his teeth and sign obediently. Then Loki passes the security check, goes to the administration hall. The soldier tells Loki to get a ticket. At this time, the small TV in the hall begins to spread the origin of the Time Variance Authority. It turns out that so long ago, to maintain the order of the universe, three guardians of time had combined the multiverse into a sacred timeline. If someone shifts this timeline, the Time Variance Authority is responsible for sending them back or take them to the court for trial and reset the chaotic timeline. After hearing, Loki still thinks they're all nonsense. At this time, a prisoner nearby doesn't want to get ticket and quarrels with the soldier. The soldier uses a stick then the prisoner disappears instantly. Loki is shocked, quickly touches the ticket in his pocket. The scene turns to the 1549 timeline. Some time guards died unexpectedly. The agent named Mobius looks at the wounds and finds that they are all done by the same person. This is the sixth attack in a week. At this time, a little girl comes in. She tells Mobius that the murderer is like the demon and gives him a gift before living. At this moment, one of Mobius's people comes from the portal and gives Loki's files to Mobius. On the other side, Loki is sent to the court of time to get ready for the trial. Loki is dissatisfied, says he is a god of Asgard, how can he be guilty? The real guilty one should be the Avengers who crossed the timeline. You should arrest them, but the female judge says that the Avengers crossing the timeline is the thing that should happen, but his escape is indeed not the same. After hearing, Loki laughs. This judge uses lame arguments that are without the law of the king. It's a pity that he wants to use magic to escape but no use at all. The judge tells him that at the time variance authority, any magic is invalid. Just when the soldiers are about to take Loki away, Agent Mobius suddenly runs forward to tell the judge that Loki can help him to find the murderer who killed the time guards. So Mobius saves Loki's life. He shows Loki the magnificent and advanced technology of the Time Variance Authority. Then they go to a room. Loki wants to sneak attack on Mobius but unexpectedly, Mobius also has a time reversal device. Helpless Loki can only sit down obediently. Mobius gives Loki a review of his past, laughs at him claiming himself to be the god of tricks but there is no trick, only failure. Even when Loki disguises himself as D.B. Cooper, robs a plane, successfully swindles a bag of money, but just jumping out of the plane, he is teleported back to Asgard by Heimdall. Loki can't stand it anymore, he thinks those all are an illusion, this is a fraud. But Mobius tells him that the Time Variance Authority is the supreme arbiter but he just wants to understand Loki's heart, what Loki really wants. Mobius shows Loki his future. This is the scene in Thor 2. Because of Loki's fault, his mother is killed by dark demons. Loki hasn't been through this, he doesn't believe this is true. Mobius tells him this is the normal timeline, no matter how he changes, his mother will still die. Excited Loki picks up the chair and throws it to the screen. 
Mobius uses the time reversal device again to return Loki. Loki falls to the ground dejectedly. At this time, a time soldier comes in. After going out, Mobius is told that another time guard team was brutally killed. When he goes back to the room, Loki disappears. He touches his pocket and finds that the time reversal device is missing. Loki runs out and sees the guy who takes the cosmic cube. Then there is the scene that surprises Loki. Loki slowly gets up in shock, looks at the sacred timeline on the monitor thoughtfully. It turns out that this is the most powerful force in the universe. At this time, a soldier rushes in and prepares to arrest Loki. He quickly presses the time reversal device, gets back to Mobius' room. Loki turns on the projector, sees the departure of his father Odin, hears the approval of his brother Thor for him and sees them two fighting side by side. The god of tricks is shaken at this moment. Until the end when he sees he is killed by Thanos, so far Loki knows his life is over in front of his eyes. When Mobius comes in, Loki doesn't run away anymore. He knows he can't return to the sacred timeline. He tells Mobius he doesn't like killing at all, he just does it when he has to. Mobius doesn't think Loki is a bad guy. He can give Loki more options. A fugitive time criminal is killing the time guards and Loki is the helper Mobius needs most. Loki asks why he, Mobius says, that murderer is you. The scene turns to the 1858 timeline. A group of time guards walks out of the portal. After testing, the tool in front of them belongs to thousands of years ago. The oil on the ground makes them think someone shuttles back and forth here to make money. When they are about to reset the timeline, a figure appears not far away. The time guards haven't come forward yet, the figure throws the oil lamp in his hand directly on the ground. The fire quickly swallows several time guards. One of them wants to reset the timeline but doesn't succeed. The time reset device is taken away by the mysterious man and this mysterious man is the Loki that Mobius said. Then why did he kill the time guards? What kind of conspiracy is hidden behind? 